I'm going to quote Jada Pinkett Smith. Don't take your health for granted. Don't take your body for granted. Do something today that communicates to your body that you desire to care for it. Tomorrow is not promised. Hi, I'm Mitch. And I'm Carlin, and welcome to our final Weigh In Wednesday of season five. In season four, we had hired a nutritionist and we both had amazing success in our weight loss. And then for season five of the summer, we tried doing it on our own. This one had good success. This one, not so much, but I was able to pretty much maintain. I, over the summer, I didn't lose any weight, but my body has transformed. I was able to lose an inch off my hips. Uh, my chest went down a little bit in size, but my shoulders went up in size. And I have been doing lots of resistance training over the summer. Lots of push-ups. Yeah. 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 And I'm going to continue that for season six. That'll be my, my main goal is building muscle, building strength, and just keeping an eye on the calories in. So I'm either maintaining or just at a little bit of a surplus. Good job. Hey, thank you. <laughs> so I did have a more detailed weight loss plan. At the beginning of this summer, I set a goal to lose at least 10 pounds. We've been working on this weight loss. If this is your first time at our channel, I started at 285 pounds. And over the past year and a bit, I had lost quite a bit of weight. In May, I was down to 200 and 61 pounds and I lost to 239.8. That's where I started this summer stash. So my goal was to be in the 220s by the end of summer. And I stepped on the scale this morning and I am 228.4 pounds, which means I've lost 11.4 pounds this summer which is over a pound more than what my goal was. So I'm pretty pumped about that. And that brings my total weight loss since starting to 56.6 pounds. And I feel great about that. Like Mitch said, or maybe he didn't. We didn't have a nutritionist this summer. We do fully plan to hire her again. It was terrific. The weight just melted off of us when we had her making our grocery lists and meal plans. So I'm really happy with the pounds result, but non-scale victory, I have changed clothing sizes. I went from wearing 3XL, then to 2XL, and now the shirt I'm wearing today is an XL. So I feel pretty good about that. So my measurements obviously changed. We started and I took my starting measurements and my arms, my arms stayed the same but measuring around my boobs, lost two inches around the boobs, the bust, I guess I should use good, good terminology. I lost four inches around my ribs. That's pretty substantial. I lost two inches around my belly, which I'm really happy about because I think belly, belly fat's the hardest place to lose from, that and arms. Uh, around my hips, I lost one inch uh, my left leg, I lost an inch, and my right leg, I must use it more because I lost an inch and a half around my my right leg for a total loss of 11 and a half inches, and that's just this summer. So I feel pretty great about that. <sighs> we did it! Success, and it's amazing. My plan was simply to make sure I got exercise 30 minutes every single day. So between running and yoga, accomplished that. Water was definitely the hardest place for me to have success in. I wanted a gallon a day, four liters a day. And if I was gonna mess up, that was more, the most often mess up I made was not getting enough water in and just staying in a calorie deficit. And I didn't every day, but I, did enough to lose 11.6 pounds, or is it 11.6 pounds? 11.4. 11.4 pounds, oh. Man, I, I wish it was 11.6. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. But 
feel pretty great about that. Successful summer. And I'm just so grateful for all of the support that we have received. Thank you. Tomorrow is our final thoughts on Thursday of season five. And of course, Friday, we will wrap everything up. I cannot believe we are at the end. Yeah, the summer went fast. So fast. And I am super pumped that our goals went as well as they did. Mine did. Yours did great. I was like nine and a half pounds away from my 10 pound goal. <laughs> so. He did great. And you know what? I could not have the success I have without the support of Mitch. We are always making those healthy meals, majority of the time making those healthy meals. But even today I was like, okay, let's order out. And Mitch was like, no, let's go to the freezer and pull some meat out and have a good, nice, healthy meal. And that's the kind of support I need because I don't want someone saying, yeah, let's go get some fast food or some greasy such and such, whatever. So thank you. Wouldn't have been successful without this guy. So on that note, we will let you go on to your day. Take care, brush your hair. We'll see you tomorrow for Thoughts on Thursday. Oh yeah.